Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Wound Up Reviews. In today's video I'm going to be unboxing and giving you my first impressions of a Panerai watch. So this is a first both for me personally because I have never seen one or held one or uh, worn one in real life and I have never featured a Panerai on this channel. So this is a channel first, it's going to be very interesting to check out. First of all, I want to thank the person that sent this watch over to me. Um, he has lent uh, some of his other watches to me in the past. I'm very grateful for that. So thank you very much. So in terms of the videos that I'm going to have this watch featured in, it's of course going to be this one, which is the first impressions and unboxing of the watch. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to change the straps and the buckles on Panerai straps. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, so, but before we get into this box, I just want to show you what I am wearing today. I am wearing my Squale 1521, which is arguably also a company based in Italy. So we have two watches here today from companies based in Italy although both of these watches are made in Switzerland. So let's get straight into the box. So this is the reference number PAM 01305. Let's get into it. Okay, so we have a cardboard outer packaging. We have some foam. And if we can just put this to the side. Okay, and here we go. We, here we have the cardboard outer box. Pull that up. We have um, a piece of microfiber cloth. I'm not entirely sure if this is from Panerai or from the guy that owns this watch because it's, I don't believe it's branded. Nope. Anyway, let's put that to the side. We have more foam and here we have the famous wooden box of Panerai's. Okay, and here we are. So we have a very nice hefty box and let's open it up. Okay, very nice. We have Panerai plaque here in metal. Looks great. We have nice hinges. Cool stuff. So now let me just get the focus done and... Ooh. Here we have some goodies. Okay, so we have different straps. We have what I believe is a Panerai uh, leather strap. Indeed it is. We have this strap, which is not Panerai, but it's quite cool. I believe it's made uh, by a forum member of uh, Klocksnack um, here in Sweden. So that's quite cool. Okay, and here we have our tools for changing out the straps. And of course, in the middle, we have the watch itself. So let me just change the lens on this camera and let's get closer to this watch. Okay, and here we have it, the PAM 01305 with their kind of rubber shroud around the watch to protect it. So let's pull it out. Okay, nice, so this is a huge watch. That's my first impressions, but it's not that heavy actually, and that's because it is made out of titanium. So that is quite interesting. Now let's get this watch off the um, piece here and, and take off the rubber shell, I guess you could say. Uh, how do you do it? You just, yep, there you go. It's off. And here we have the watch in all its glory. Would you just look at that? This is one badass watch if I've ever seen one. Wow. So yeah, it's made out of titanium, which means it's not that heavy. It does, however, have quite a large diameter of a whopping 47 millimeters. Uh, this is the Panerai Submersible 47 millimeter watch. Um, this retails for 8,900 euros. It features Panerai's in-house caliber P9010, uh, which has uh, 31 joules. It has the Glucider, I don't know how to pronounce that, but the Glucider uh, balance. 
it uh, beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has the Inca block anti-shock system. It has a power reserve of 72 hours thanks to two barrels and it's made out of 200 components. We have a fully brushed titanium case with a diameter of 47 millimeters, although we do have some polished details such as on the markers here on the bezel. In terms of the functions, this is a simple movement. We have the hours, the minutes, the seconds on a sub-second dial, and hidden there behind the minutes hand, we have the date, which I can show you right here. Oh, okay. So we are finding new features. We have a quick set hour function, which is just fantastic. This is a great feature if you are traveling through to different time zones and you don't want to stop the watch's timekeeping, you just want to change the hours. So that is quite fantastic. And then if you pull it out one step further, I believe, we get to the actual time setting itself, which of course does hack the seconds hand. Oh yeah, and of course behind the minutes hand we have uh, the date window and the date wheel is black on the background, which is great to see. This piece here is quite interesting as well. So this is a Panerai's kind of signature thing. So what you've got going on here is you have this uh, lever that you can pull, which kind of acts the same way as unscrewing a screw down crown. Uh, you just very simply pull it out and now uh, you can wind the watch. And of course, if you pull the crown out, you can also do that quick change hour thing and of course also change the time. And then when you are done to, to make this watch resistant to water again, of course, you just push this back into place, which has a very satisfying sound and action. There you go. You have a brushed titanium bezel with some polished details. And this bezel is a 60 click bezel. And it is one of the most, I guess you could say, mechanical feeling bezels that I've ever used. So it gives off a very nice sound and it feels just incredible to operate. Man, that is extremely satisfying. So uh, yeah, that is probably the most mechanical feeling um, bezel that I've ever used. Um, you do have a loom pip there at 12 o'clock. Panerai is of course quite famous for their luminous uh, situations, which I'm of course going to be checking out tonight. We have a cushion style case, looks great. Um, we have a coin edge bezel. In terms of the case back, a screw, we have a screw down case back. This specific one does not have the see-through sapphire crystal because the person that bought this watch obviously did not want it. And I can definitely see that this is a tool watch. As you can see here, it has a water resistance rating of 300 meters. It's made out of titanium. Panerai, submersible, very cool stuff. And this right here, these holes or, or these pushers, if you will, um, I will be discussing in the review of this watch. And of course, also uh, the video where I show you how to change the straps and how to change the buckles on these Panerai models. So yeah, first impressions, this is one big watch. It is one solid watch. The bezel is incredibly well made. Um, the dial is simple, uh, simple to read, and I do like the details here with the blue sub-seconds hand and the black background of the date wheel, and of course also this crown mechanism here is very, very interesting. So, yes, I'm going to have very much fun checking out this watch over the next few weeks, and then I will return uh, with the strap changing tutorial and also of course the review video. But before I leave you guys today, of course, I'm going to be showing you uh, how this watch wears on my 19.5 centimeter wrist. So to do that, of course, I'm gonna uh, take off my squale. There you go. And put on the Panerai Submersible. All right, and there she is on my 19.5 centimeter wrist. I do have to say, because this watch is made out of titanium, it doesn't feel that chunky. Uh, but of course, it is a very large uh, watch with very wide 
straps here. I do believe this is a 26 millimeter uh, lug width. Um, of course, it is a large watch. You have to get uh, used to the feeling of a large watch. But for a, a 47 millimeter watch, I do have to say it doesn't feel that big. But yeah, so a very cool watch. So uh, stay tuned for my next videos on this watch. And uh, thank you for watching. Please feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button if you are interested in seeing more videos uh, just like this one. And with that said, I will catch you guys in my next videos. Bye-bye.